Hello everyone, Merry Christmas to you and welcome to Tester Tuesday. It's Patricia here and as I film this video it is very early on December 24th. For every parent out there it's the longest day of the year. <laughs> um, anyway, I just want to take this moment to uh, say Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year. I will see you a few times between now and New Year's because I have some things rolling in. But even if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, just it's a great time to say thank you. So at the end of the video, I just want to say a little something. But we're going to jump into it today. I was supposed to dress festive today. I could not find my Santa hat anywhere. But I did find my big stocking I mentioned in another video. So here it is. It's made of corduroy. And this is what the doctors put, my, put me in when they passed me to my mom when I was born many, many years ago. <laughs> so let's get into it. Now I have filmed this video a few times and I will explain what happened here as we go, but we are going to talk about the voting of last week. If you are watching this video on December 25th or 26th, please be aware you can still vote and I'll explain more at the end of the video. But normally we just vote on Tuesdays, but we're having a little bit of a difference this, the next two weeks. So we had lots and lots of votes this past week, almost a record number. In first place, it was very, very close between first, second, and third. But in first place, the lovely pink wax, love and happiness, that had 24% of the vote. And in second place, it's like a yellowy, neon yellow with a little twinge of green, jumpin' jelly bean, that had 23% of the vote. So the voting order went love and happiness, Jumping Jelly Bean, then Blackberry Meringue. Like I said, those were all very close. Then we had Lucky in Love, Coconut Vanilla Orchid, and at the very bottom, Go Go Mango. And those were all very close. And everybody got lots of votes this week, so there were no, you know, total losers. <laughs> but let's talk about Love and Happiness. It's our first place scent. It is currently available. It is in the fall and winter section of the catalog, and it is year two for this. So it usually does retire uh, at the end of February and we'll see if it comes back in September. So for this one I had two testers. I had a big party and a, one of the new mid-size testers. On cold I would say it's a light to medium scent and on cold I would say it's a sugary, sweet, hazy, powdery, perfumey kind of scent. Hard to describe and that's why I filmed this video so many times and whatever this is we are just going to go with it because I'm not filming it again. <laughs> so let me read you the scent description for Love and Happiness. It is glazed chestnut, vanilla and sugarcane define temptation. So the scent notes are glazed chestnut, vanilla and sugarcane. And do I get all those things? It's hard to say. It's one of these scents that don't really smell like they say it smells, in my opinion. Um, when you see chestnut sometimes you think it would be on vanilla and sugar cane you might think it's a foodie smell it's not really a foodie smell it's more of a conceptual smell which means it kind of smells like a medley of things put together to give you a different kind of result and I would say that result is more of a like I said a powdery kind of tone with like a rich deep base and it has like a sweetness and it also has a mild perfume tone, a feminine twist to it. So glazed chestnut, the glaze part gives the sweetness. Chestnut, I believe, is giving that deep, rich nuttiness. And nuttiness in a sweet way, not nuttiness like in a food way. Because chestnuts can be very, very sweet in desserts and things like that. And the vanilla is more of a like a perfume vanilla in the sense that it's not a bakery vanilla. It's more of a sophisticated vanilla. And sugar cane, I think, also might be giving it obviously sweetness but it's also giving it a little bit of that like perfume vibe in the sense that it's kind of like giving it a powdery tone I believe I'm not 100% sure and that's what's giving me problems with this scent now let me talk about fragrance appeal so on cold it's about 7 out of 10 nothing special it's just you know it almost reminds me of a smidgen of pink haze just a tiny tiny bit but when you put it in the warmer, it kind of blossoms. And it, I'd say fragrance appeal for me is about 8.5 out of 10. And the great news is I put it here in the bedroom. It did great between my two warmers. I would say strength and throw was 7.5 to 8. 
and it lasted almost 40 hours and then I took it out. So very happy with the performance on this. And it's more of the effect of this scent, what has the effect that it has for me anyway. It has almost like a cozy, secure kind of feeling, just like a nice warmth in the background. You could put this in any room of your house and probably enjoy it. And I think it would probably even hold up well in an open concept space. But yeah, I'm very pleased with this scent. It's one of those ones that take you by surprise. You're not really sure if you're going to like it when you put it in the warmer. You're like, oh my gosh, this is really, really good. So in saying so, and I know I've been throwing these out here the past few weeks, but I would say this is SCW for me, Scentsy Club worthy. The reason is, is it's not one of those scents that I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't live without this scent. Oh my God, it's so great. No, but what I'm going to do is if I have it in my Scentsy Club, um, I usually put things in my Scentsy Club if I think they might discontinue and I'm not sure about this one. But if I have it in my Scentsy Club, I can enjoy what's in my closet and not feel guilt and not feel worry. Kind of gives me the freedom to melt through what I have and enjoy it. Almost forgot to mention, this scent is somewhat uh, reminiscent, according to some of my subscribers, of the Prada Candy Perfume. So if you are familiar with that scent, you may really, really like Love and Happiness. So yes, a hard scent to describe, very wonderful, nice, and I think once people try it, they really, really like it. A great performer and gives a nice, almost feels like a giant hug, a hug when you need it the most, a secureness. It's just a great feeling. I really, really like it. So let's move on to Jumping Jelly Bean. Jumping Jelly Bean, I have worn this a lot. Uh, this, I just had two testers of the large and two testers of the mini. But I have worn through almost an entire brick that I received on a D stash, so I'm pretty familiar with this scent. It's a retired scent. It's been many years since it has been in the catalog, but it's come back from Bring Back My Bar, and it's coming back in this uh, Bring Back My Bar that's starting in January. So you have from January 1st to 31st to grab Jumpin' Jelly Bean. But on cold, I would say it's a light to medium scent. And the impression that it gives me on cold is like a bright, sweet, fruity scent. Um, a lot of jelly beans are just like sweet candy with not really much flavor, but this has a fruity undertone. So let me read you the scent notes for this. It's crisp pear and apple. Zesty lemon and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories. And ironically, when it was in the catalog, it was not in the kids section, it was in the regular section. So, fragrance appeal, cold and warm is about seven out of 10 for me. And I'm just wondering if I'm a little burnt out on it because of the whole brick. But I put it downstairs in my son's room. And when I warm it, I get a lot of, like I said, you get the apple and pear mixed together, maybe about 50%. And then that lemon and sugar, another 50%. And what the lemon and sugar does is it kind of gives it a really high tone. It's hard to describe, not an effervescent tone, but it feels volatile or zingy in the air. It's something that my daughter interprets as chlorine. Now, I don't want that to turn you off, but that's how her nose interprets it. When it's in the warmer, she doesn't really complain. She, she says it smells, she you know no, doesn't notice that chlorine. She was in there all day yesterday, never complained one little bit. But yeah, so you might pick up on like a high bright tone and that's what her nose picks it up as. I just find the performance for me is a little bit lackluster for this scent. So I would say strength and throw max is like seven out of 10. And then it's just a few hours at seven out of 10. Then it kind of dips down pretty low, three or four out of 10 for many hours. I left it in quite a long time just because I didn't want to take it out um, overnight. Um, I don't like to change my wax right before my son goes to bed because then there's no but he enjoying the scent while he's asleep. So I should have taken it out at the 24 hour mark over two days. So, and I should say love and happiness. It was, I had that going three or four days. I can't remember. But another thing to mention with this, if you are a fan of skinny dipping, you may enjoy jumping jelly bean and I'll explain why. Skinny dipping has apples, pears, and melons and Je jumping jelly bean has apples, pears, um, and lemon and the sugar but 
Jumpin' Jelly Bean reminds me of like a, a kid version of a, the scent and the Skinny Dippin' would be more like the mom or the mature version. But they're both great. So yeah, if you're a fan of Skinny Dippin', I would check into Jumpin' Jelly Bean. So it's coming. I didn't drop it. It's coming back and bring back my bear. So we are going to draw some scents. I don't want to keep you too long. We're going to cheat a little bit and draw some smaller scents this week. And I have a few loose ones to my side here. So we're going to draw three from the box and three loose ones. Scent number one, peach and white amber. Scent number two, peppermint rush. Scent number three, Persian Lime and Sandalwood. Scent number four, Vanilla Mint. Scent number five, White Out. We have a lot of mint, mint scents in this selection. And for our Bring Back My Bar, we have Coconut Cotton. I, I should have said, uh, if Love and Happiness does come back in a non-fall and winter way, it should almost be in the Darling and Dashing category. But anyway, it's more like a Darling and Dashing scent. I just kind of thought of that. Anyway, back to summary. Uh, your voting options this week. Peach and White Amber. Peppermint Rush. Persian Lime and Sandalwood. Vanilla Mint. White Out. And Coconut Cotton. It's the battle of the, you know, Darling and Dashing versus Minty fragrances this week. Um, two votes each on December 25th or 26th, if you're watching at this time. And if you cannot vote on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram and I will put my contact information here and you can look me up and vote there. We are going to wrap things up. I babbled on and on, but I just want to say this time of year is a great time to give thanks. So. I want to say thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. I started the YouTube um, late March and when you start a YouTube channel, you don't really know what you're doing. Sometimes I still feel like I don't really know what, you're, what I'm doing, but um, I love wax and I love to share, you know, my experiences with you guys. So as you kind of go through your, ch your channel and your videos, you kind of develop a little bit more of your own style and kind of figure out what you're doing. But the other thing is you develop bonds and friendships that you weren't really expecting. So I want to say thank you to all my viewers and subscribers because you guys are great at interacting and that is my favorite part of this YouTube channel. It's the community feeling that we have. So my channel, I feel it's great because of you guys. I mean, I like to offer you my insights on my wax and how things perform, but really it's not about wax at the end of the day. It's about a sense of involvement and community so thank you so much everybody is so loving and positive and upbeat and I love that about you guys as I film this video I have 420 subscribers which for me is a shock I was shocked when I had four subscribers so thank you so much I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all I will see you in a few days over uh, uh, I will be posting a haul and first sniffs but as always, thanks for spending the last 14 minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next video.